Welcome back. Rich Abney joins us now with sports and starting with a tragic story. Yeah, tough stuff for sure. Thanks very much, Aileen. Some very sad news as the local soccer community suffered a great loss this week. Nathan Warren, who was only 26 years old, died suddenly on Sunday, just hours after playing a playoff game in men's soccer. His team plans to play for the championship this weekend in honor of their teammate and friend. On Sunday afternoon, Westwood Pub was happily celebrating their semi-final victory in men's soccer, giving them a third consecutive berth in the league finals. By Sunday night, tragedy. Player and team manager Nathan Warren had died suddenly after suffering a heart attack. Completely out of nowhere. I think a lot of people are, are still trying to put it together and there's just, just doesn't really add up. It's really hard to believe that, you know, at such a young age and so athletic and so healthy. At just 26 years old, Nathan was known as a leader, on the pitch, but also in the community. He was active in the church, working with kids, helping guide those around him. So Nathan was uh, probably one of the most giving people I know, and, and honestly the best man I knew on this earth. He helped a lot, of, a lot of kids and youth, and all the way up to older people as well. So a lot of his friends looked to him for advice uh, through tough times and stuff, and he was, he was a comforter. He was a really good, uh, good person. His soccer teammates now face the task of playing the championship game in his honour. This loss goes beyond their right winger. We've, uh, we've all, uh, we've, most of our team has been together for at least a few years now. And uh, Nathan has always, has always managed, has always managed it. And he is, I can say that he is one of the, uh, he's a guy with the kindest heart. who would do anything for anyone. And it's just, we're all just still in shock. Nathan and his wife Kim were loyal fans of the Arsenal Football Club. The sport was a big part of his life, even naming their dog after soccer star Samuel Edo. Just loves playing soccer, loves the game. Uh, he just recently went and watched an Arsenal game in uh, New York City with our parents uh, over the summer. The manager of Arsenal is going to handwrite a letter to, to Nathan uh, on Nathan's behalf for, for Kim and Edo. So while they chase a third consecutive championship, Nathan's Westwood Pub teammates know this Sunday will mean far more than the scoreboard could ever reflect. He has been there every game uh, for us and uh, it's just going to be different. It's, I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be very emotional. Win or lose, is, I think it's going to just be a, a really great time having a lot of people out there. If history repeats itself, they'll win it and it'll be, uh, Nathan would absolutely love to see that happen. The loss of a young leader has left a family, a community and a sport reeling. But come Sunday, when the field is lined with those who knew and loved him, there will be a game for Nathan Warren, who loved the sport so very much. Nathan would be happy just knowing that his team is going to go out there and, and have fun and play soccer, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't want them to be doing anything else. So um, Sunday is going to be great as far as, you know, they're, they're going to be doing what he'd want them to be do, uh, just have fun and go play soccer.